Hey everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Bev. Alright, so for today, the video is going to be about natural hair sands. Now, what I mean by that is that most of the time in the natural hair community, you will hear certain terms being used to refer to a hairstyle or like a certain stages in our natural hair. So, I came up with 10 of these natural hair sands that I'm aware of. And I'm gonna go ahead and share with you so that whenever you hear these terms being used, you know what they mean. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first term out there that is very popular is the big chop. Now, the big chop is when um, instead of transitioning, um, there's a, a lot of people who don't want to go ahead and cut all their hair off. The big chop is when you just go ahead and you cut all your hair off you do not transition. Um, there are some people who would like to transition for a period of time, either six months to a year to two years, three years, um, because they don't want to cut all their hair off. And that is when they will have um, uh, leave uh, their relaxed hair and then let their natural hair grow out. And then they'll uh, gradually be cutting off their relaxed hair as their natural hair is growing out. The big chop does not do that. The big chop is when you just cut everything off. And that, that is what I did, and um, that I actually prefer the big chop over the transitioning period because it's, it's so much easier to deal with than you know, dealing with two different textures. So moving on to the second natural hair saying, which is the TWA. Now you may have heard or seen it um, that term being used or you've seen it in some of the YouTube videos. Now the TWA stands for Teeny Weeny Afro. Now that is a stage where your hair is not long and it's not short either. So it's really hard to find styles to do when you're in that stage. Um, it's just a very awkward stage. But um, I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of the Teeny Weeny Afro stage so that you can see um, what I'm talking about. Now the third natural hair saying is the braid out. Now the braid, braid out, um, you may have heard that term used many times. I'm going to go ahead and pay, uh, post a picture of the braid out so you know how it looks like. And it's pretty much just a braid, a three strand braid. And um, most of the time it will be unraveled um, to create a curl pattern. Same, same goes for uh, this, uh, the twist out, which is also is a two strand twist. And then it will be unraveled to create a certain curl pattern. And I'll post pictures of these so you'll see what I'm talking about. Now the fifth natural hair saying that you may have heard of is the flat twist. And the flat twist is kind of similar to a cornrow, um, where that one is more like when uh, it's like a three strand braid that is braided to your scalp. But instead of it being three strand, it's actually a two strand braid. And I'm gonna post a picture of that as well. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, um, the sixth natural saying that you may have heard is the band two knot out. The Bantu knot out is pretty much when they will take a section of hair and they will wrap that section of hair around itself to create a knot. And usually that will also be unraveled to create a curl pattern. And um, I really love the Bantu knot out. It, the curl pattern, kind of like a wavy curl pattern. Um, it's very pretty. There's some people who choose to wrap the Bantu knot out by itself. Um, so that is what that is, the Bantu Nada. Now, the seventh natural hair saying is the wash and go. Now, <laughs> this is a very tricky um, thing because wash and go is usually when you wash your hair and then you go. You don't manipulate it, you don't do anything with it. It's just you washing your hair. Most of the time, it's, uh, uh, the hair will be washed with conditioner. And then after you wash it, you shake your hair up, and then you're out the door. However, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where um, the person will wash their hair, 
and then they'll proceed to apply creams, they'll proceed to apply gel to achieve a certain um, hairstyle. And this is really not a wash and go in a sense because you are doing a lot to the hair, but natural hair, um, has, uh, natural hair has a lot of shrinkage where you will never, um, when it's in this natural hair state, you won't really see the length of the hair. When the hair is drying, it will shrink into itself. And I'll post a picture of this so you will see what I'm talking about. Um, what the shrinkage is. And um, most of the time, a lot of natural hair uh, YouTubers have to manipulate the hair by applying gels and creams to elongate the hair so you can see the hair length or at least some of the hair length because if they wash the hair and they go the hair will just shrink up and when you sh it shrinks up you deal with a lot of tangles and it is just a mess when you're trying to wash your hair later on. So that is why um, they came up with the term wash and go, but it's not wash and go. You have to apply the creams and the gels and whatnots to it so that you know your hair will be elongated. And most of the time, the wash and go uh, will turn out to be kind of like this. If you see in some of the videos, the hair style will kind of look similar to this crochet um, braid that I have in. Now, the uh, eighth natural hair saying that you may have heard is the cold wash. Cold wash pretty much means washing your hair with conditioner only. Is when um, most of the time natural hair can be very drying. So a lot of naturals will wash their hair with just conditioner to put moisture back into their hair. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this because I believe that um, shampoos are created for a reason and you've got to use a shampoo to clean your hair because if you're just using conditioners to wash your hair, you're going to get a lot of product buildup over time and your scalp can't breathe with all that gunk in it. So every once in a while if you do use conditioner only to wash your hair, every once in a while try clarifying your hair um, or washing your hair with a shampoo to remove all that buildup because a conditioner by itself will not clean your hair. Alright, so going to the ninth natural hair saying which is the kinky hair. Now kinky hair is just a term used to refer to um, the different curl patterns that a natural hair um, like you have coils, you have hair that is more of a looser curl pattern, and I'm gonna post a picture of this so you can see what I'm talking about, different patterns um, for natural hair. Like for example, this natural hair, you got some wavy strands, you got some coily strands that are tightly, very tightly coiled. So that is what the kinky, um, hair refers to if you ever hear that term. Now the last term is called going natural. Now you may have heard a lot of people say, well, I'm going natural, I'm going natural. What does that mean? Going natural is actually a very broad term, but for this video I would explain it as um, when someone wants to uh, cut off their relaxed hair. Relax hair is pretty much when you're using chemical sodium hydroxide to relax the natural hair texture so that you get a straight hair. And so so you, uh, you're straightening your hair with a um, chemical product. Going natural is when um, you eliminate chemical product, whatever it may be, to manipulate um, your curl pattern. Instead, you're just allowing your natural curl pattern that grows out of your scalp you're letting that grow instead of manipulating it. So that is what the term going natural means. All right, so that is all the terms that I could find to talk about. If you know of any other natural hair terms floating around, please put it down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a wonderful